Hi, this is Hilal. In this video on Mathematical Economic Series, we will learn about the game theory basics and we will uh, start by the dominant strategy. What is meant by dominant strategy? So let's write, we have dominant strategy, okay? And uh, we will discuss about the two players game okay let us say we have player a uh, we have uh, player a on this side and he has two uh, strategies either he chooses top or he chooses bottom okay and similarly we have player b here player b and he has to choose between a left, left and right, okay? So we have two player game and we want to see what is meant by dominant strategy. And also we are being given the payoffs of each of the player. That is, if player A chooses stop, he gets one as payoff. And if player uh, B chooses left, he gets two as reward, okay? Similarly, if player uh, A chooses bottom, he gets two. If player B chooses uh, left, he gets one. Similarly, we have here zero. If player A chooses top and right, uh, if player B chooses right uh, and the payoff is one. Similarly, we have one, zero, okay? these are uh, this is the payoff matrix for player a and b now what is meant by uh, the dominant strategy in this case dominant uh, dominant strategy is optimal move uh, for a player regardless of how other player act okay so uh, let me write here uh, the definition uh, dominant dominant strategy is optimal optimal move uh, for a player for a player regardless of regardless of how other player act okay now what does this mean now let us see what is dominant strategy in this uh, p of matrix let us suppose a uh, player b chooses left okay if player b chooses left player a has two options either to go top or to go bottom okay uh, if uh, player a goes top he gets uh, payoff of one and if he goes bottom he gets payoff of two so obviously player b will choose Sorry, player A will choose uh, bottom because it gives him more payoff than going for top. Similarly, if player B chooses right, okay, if player B chooses right, uh, player A has two options, either to go top or to go bottom. And here we can see uh, going bottom gives him one as payoff and going top gives him zero only payoff. So, player A will choose to go bottom. In this case, regardless what player B does, whether he goes left or right, player A will choose to go bottom. Okay. And let us uh, see what happens when player A chooses top. If player A chooses top, uh, player B has two options, either to go left or to go right. Okay. And here, uh, going left gives him two payoff. And going right gives him one as a payoff. So he is better off if he chooses left. Okay. Similarly, what happens if player A chooses bottom? If player A chooses bottom, player uh, B again has two options. Either to go left. Okay. Or to go right. Okay. And here we can see... Going left gives him two as payoff and going right gives him only zero payoff. So player B, sorry, player A will go bottom. So regardless what player B does, player A will go for bottom. Okay. So in this case, we say 
that both the players have dominant strategy okay whatever choice b makes whatever choice b makes okay either left or right a always choose stop okay similarly uh, whatever choice a makes whatever choice a makes b always uh, chooses left okay so in this case we say both the players have dominant strategy so i will write here uh, whatever uh, whatever choice choice b makes makes a always always chooses bottom bottom also whatever whatever choice a makes b always chooses left okay so we say in this game both the players have or what you are what we call it the dominant strategy okay and it is very simple uh, if there is dominant strategy for each player in the given game then we would predict predict that it would be the outcome of the game that means in this case the outcome of game will be 2-1 that is player a will choose player a will choose bottom and player b will choose left okay so this is the case when we have the dominant strategy okay let us see uh, another uh, example where there is no dominant strategy okay so let me uh, rub this out and i will rub off the payoff matrix only okay when there is no dominant strategy okay no dominant strategy and uh, let us uh, make the payoff here so let us say we have uh, two one zero 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 one two okay let us see whether uh, this game has the dominant strategy or not okay let us see if player a chooses stop if player a chooses stop player b has two options either to go left or right so player b will choose to go left it gives him more payoff similarly let us say if player a chooses bottom then again player b has two options either to go left or right okay in this case the player a will choose sorry player b b will choose to go for right because it gives him two as payoff okay the which is greater than zero and here we can see uh, player b changes his strategy as player a changes his strategy so player b does not stick uh, to the strategy he uh, sees what uh, strategy player a makes and uh, and uh, subsequently he changes his strategy okay similarly let us uh, see when player b chooses left if player b chooses left okay player a has two options either to go top or to go bottom okay so uh, if player a goes for sorry if player a goes for top he gets just two as payoff if he goes bottom he has only zero as payoff so player b will choose uh, two that is going for top similarly if player b chooses right okay if player b chooses right player a is having uh, player a can go either top or bottom and bottom gives him more payoff okay and here it is also uh, to make it more suitable i have placed uh, this line under this and here we can see player b changes strategy as player a changes okay and here we can easily understand that both of the players don't have any sort of dominant strategy okay because here dominant dominant strategy does not exist okay
rather than A's choice to be a optimal for all choices of B, we can just require that it would be optimal for optimal choices of B. Okay, but there is one case we have here the Nash equilibrium. We have two Nash equilibrium here. Okay, one Nash, Nash equilibrium is uh, player A chooses top, player B chooses left. Another uh, Nash equilibrium is player A chooses bottom and player B chooses right. Okay, so this is a case when both the players don't have dominant strategy and we have two or multiple Nash equilibrium. Okay, and what is meant by uh, the Nash equilibrium? Uh, I will write here in this case Nash equilibrium means. Nash equilibrium means Nash equilibrium means uh, a pair of strategies a, a pair pair of strategies is no Nash equilibrium is said to be Nash equilibrium if A is choice is optimal uh, optimal for B's choice and B's choice is optimal for optimal for A's choice okay so this game has two Nash equilibrium okay and a Nash equilibrium describes the optimal state of the game where both players make optimal uh, optimal moves but now consider the move of their opponents okay in this case we have the two Nash equilibriums and let me repeat how do I got the Nash equilibrium in this case. So let us uh, take again this very example. Uh, let us say player A chooses top. If player A chooses top, player B can either go for left or right. Okay. Here we can see going left gives him two. One is payoff. Going right gives him only zero payoff. So player B will choose one okay similarly if player a chooses bottom player b has again two options either to go left or to go right uh, going right use him two as payoff going uh, left use him zero as payoff so he will choose to go left okay so let me encircle them okay Similarly, let us see what happens if player B chooses left. If player B chooses left, uh, player A can either go top or bottom. Top gives him 2 as payoff, bottom gives him 0 as payoff. So he will choose to go for top because it gives him more payoff. Okay. Similarly, let us say when player B uh, chooses right. Player A again has two options either to go top or to go bottom. If he goes top, he gets zero as payoff. If he goes bottom, he gets one as payoff. So he is better off going bottom because it gives him one payoff, which is greater than zero. Okay, let me form the cell, write it in. So we have this. Okay what uh, the Nash equilibrium uh, says us uh, to see whether this game has Nash equilibrium or not we will just focus on the cells if both the cells are in encircled if the sorry uh, if both numbers both values in a cell are encircled then we say that very cell is the Nash equilibrium here we have two cells where our two values are encircled so we say this game has two Nash equilibrium okay and in the next video we will see the properties of Nash equilibrium okay I hope I make myself clear in this video 
let me repeat i am just a student of economics in that capacity if there are any mistakes in making uh, understand in making uh, uh, the things uh, right for you so please tell me so i will appreciate if you can point out the mistakes in my videos so that i can rectify them thank you